So we are now clear with the process of formation of the jet streams. Now let's move on and discuss some of the other features that are generally associated with these jet streams. Till now, we have learned the following things about jet streams. Number one, they flow in the upper troposphere. Number two, they flow at a very high speed. Number three, they flow from west to east. And number four, they are near geostrophic winds. Now let's explore some more features of these winds. Jet streams, they follow a meandering path. So what do we mean by this term meandering? I'm sure you must be aware of the meanders that are formed when rivers flow in the plains or the shape which is formed when a snake moves. Well, just like them, a jet stream meanders as well. So they meander in two ways, vertically and laterally. Now, why do they meander after all? Well, let's start with lateral meandering. We know jet streams are formed at the junction of two contrasting air masses. So, let us suppose that there is a cold air mass which is coming from the north and a warm air mass is coming from the south. At some places, the cold air mass approaches the warm air mass at a much faster rate. While at few other places, it is the warm air mass which rushes towards the cold air mass much faster. This non-uniform interaction of air masses at various different points, it leads to meandering of the wave in the lateral direction. Now, what about vertical meandering? Vertical meandering, the reason behind its formation is quite similar to lateral meandering. We already know how air columns of different heights, they interact with each other to form jet streams. Sometimes a column of warm air moves at a much faster rate towards a column of cold air and sometimes quite the opposite is observed. Again, this non-uniform interaction of air masses, which happens at various different heights, leads to meandering of the waves in a vertical direction. These meandering waves are also referred to as Rossby waves. They are named after Carl Gustav Rossby, a Swedish-born American meteorologist who first explained the large-scale motions of the atmosphere in terms of fluid mechanics. Now, let us move on to the next feature. We know that jet streams are winds with high speed, but usually their speeds peak during the winter months. Now, why does this happen? Well, as we have seen, jet streams are formed due to the interaction between the warm and the cold air masses. During winters, the contrast between the cold and the warm air masses is much more pronounced. Due to this, there is an increase in the pressure gradient force. This results in an increase in the overall speed of the jet streams. It is this feature that has explained the peculiar observation that scientists made about jet streams. Now, it has been observed that with climate change, the jet streams are getting weaker day by day. Why is that? As we know, the overall temperature of Earth is rising because of climate change. Thus, 
the cold air mass won't be as cold as it was earlier as the earth in itself is getting warmer due to this the contrast between the cold and warm air masses is no longer as pronounced as a result of this the pressure gradient force in itself will reduce this in turn shall lead to lower speeds or in other words the weakening of jet streams themselves now another interesting feature of these jet streams is their ability to carry localized weather conditions over thousands of kilometers for example if a place is experiencing a cyclonic condition then the overlying jet stream has the ability to transport this atmospheric condition over a very large distance now lastly one of the most peculiar feature of jet streams is that their position shifts with apparent motion of the sun we know about the apparent motion of the sun right as earth moves around the sun in one full revolution the position of the sun changes with respect to an observer from the earth's point of view this apparent motion of the sun changes the position of the pressure belts all the cells and as a result of it the positions of jet streams as well during the northward progression of the sun the jet streams shift slightly northward while during the southward progression of the sun the jet streams will move slightly southwards this summarizes everything that we need to know regarding the basic concept and phenomena of jet streams